Welcome back. Winds still strong out there this evening. If you're planning to go out for a walk or a run, you're going to be dealing with some winds, especially if you're headed north or south, because that wind's going to be blowing crossways, or you don't want to run into it either. That'll slow down your times tonight. But it is eventually going to be quieting down. We are already seeing that happening. No wind gusts in the 40 mile per hour range. Close to it in Bemidji at 39 miles per hour right now. 35 in Fargo, 32 in Grand Forks, and a 39 mile per hour gust in Jamestown. So still quite Quite breezy out there, and we still have that wind advisory in effect until 7 o'clock tonight. That includes most of our viewing area. There are places down in the Southern Valley that aren't included, but still breezy for you folks down there, too, uh, as well. The strongest winds just happen to be up to the north. The closer to the low we are, the stronger the winds. And that's also where we're seeing more cloud cover right over uh, Lake of the Woods and beyond there. We'll expand the view to show you. Uh, there's a lot of clouds and rain associated spiraling right around this center of low pressure that's really kicked its way off to the north and east. So the clouds starting to depart, but there's still some rotation happening around us on the back side of that low. And we may see some more clouds and even a couple of sprinkles coming in tomorrow. Uh, as this continues to influence us here. Right now, though, temperature is pretty nice. 81 degrees in Fargo. We're at 80 in Grand Forks, 79 in Jamestown. Devil's Lake also at 79, 78 in Bemidji. The cool spot is Roseau at 75 degrees right now. And really, we should have a nice evening if it just weren't for that wind. As we move through the evening hours, we'll see the wind speed staying in the uh, teens and single numbers here, but gusts will remain high into the 20s to some low 30s. 10 o'clock, though, things really quiet down. Most of us seeing a little bit of a breeze, but winds gusting more into the 20s throughout the overnight hours, which is a big difference from last night when we were seeing 40s to 50s. Now, as we move overnight, really looking quiet as far as precipitation is concerned throughout the overnight hours. In fact, tomorrow morning, waking up to some sunny skies to start off our day and temperatures in the upper 50s to some low 60s. Still on the breezy side, we're still being influenced by this low, but the farther it moves off to the east, the better our wind will be or the less it will be, I should say, for many of us here in the valley. So at times, winds gusting into the teens and 20s throughout the day. 9 a.m. as you're heading into work, winds will be in that 17 mile per hour gust range and we'll be seeing those temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Lunchtime nearing 80 degrees in many parts of eastern North Dakota, Southern Valley, some mid 70s up to the northeast. And I mentioned that chance for a couple of rain showers popping up with the afternoon heat. We may see some of that happening in northwestern parts of Minnesota uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise looking pretty good. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures upper 70s to low to mid 80s for highs tomorrow. And again, still a little bit of wind at times gusting in to the 20s for tomorrow. Uh, by 11 o'clock tomorrow night, temperatures back down into the mid to upper 60s. A look at our hourly forecast for Fargo shows really that wind starting to quiet down, coinciding with the sun setting tonight. So that's really going to help things too. And the wind steady speeds stay on this lighter side. But again, gusts may pop up into the 20s at times uh, through the overnight hours into the early part of the day tomorrow. Check out this shot. This was taken yesterday morning of a beautiful sunrise. This was near Valley City. City as Michelle was driving into work, caught some wind turbines in there in the shot too. So beautiful shot there. Uh, as we look ahead into the rest of our forecast through the rest of this week, 86 degrees in Fargo tomorrow, 85 on Friday, mostly sunny and much lighter wind for Friday. As we look ahead to the weekend, there is a slight chance for some rain to some thunder showers here and there on Saturday and Sunday. Not a major system. But the possibility is there we could see a passing shower or two in between some pretty nice conditions. We should be enjoying some sunshine uh, during the weekend with some passing clouds. 86 Saturday, 83 Sunday. The quiet weather continues into next week. A slight chance for some rain and thunder showers moves in late Tuesday and into Wednesday. Otherwise, things are going to be looking much better, a lot quieter as we round out the rest of our work week. But until then, still dealing with a little bit of a breeze right now. Hutch is at the Backyard Barbecue enjoying some sun and some breeze right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, we're having a great time here in South Park at the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue. My friend Greg joins us from Cashwise. Tell us a little bit about what Cashwise has going on on this warm-looking summer weekend. Well, there's gonna, we've got a lot of great items, and it's going to be a nice weekend, so you want to make sure you stop in and pick up those Brods burgers, those steaks. Um, we have a ribeye steak on sale, $7.77 a pound, and it's a bone-in, and it's an excellent uh, steak. Take advantage of our time to grill outdoors, and if you sign up for a Cashwise Backyard Barbecue, these guys do all the work. They bring all the goodies. Like, what are
are some of the things you can count on you guys bringing by? Well, we got some very, very good vendor support. Um, all the years we've been doing it, Coke and Old Dutch have been very good in helping us out with bringing the pop, bringing the chips. You know, we bring watermelon, all the steaks, of course, hot dogs, buns, all the condiments, uh, salads, you, name it. you yeah. name it, we got it. All right, making it easy for everybody. Sign up at Cash Wise. We'd love to be in your backyard coming up next week and beyond as we go through the remainder of summer. Back in the studio, this wind is not not from the hot air for me, as uh, Lisa Green would have you believe, but it's more of a pressure system thing that meteorologists know a lot about. But let's say it seems to be quieting down a little bit, even out here. And okay. Hutch, we noticed you're a bit of a frisbee champ out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. We well. Yeah, I'm still uh, I'm still training the Cashwise guys how this thing works. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Up next.